Hi. I don't know why I'm yelling. So I'm on my way. Ooh, I'm tight. I'm on my way to. Let me get out of the parking spot first. Jeez, they got me tight. Tight, tight. But I got it. I am on my way to tour brand new apartments for one of my investors. I am going to take you on that tour, show you the apartments, and then when I come back, we, when I come back, I'm going to talk to you about scams, rental scams, apartment scams, and how to avoid them. Stay tuned. Okay, this is a one bedroom, two flex. And I'll show you why it's a flex once we get inside. So it's a modern updated apartment. We're in the Forest Hill section of Newark. Here's the bathroom. Nice shower, nice vanity, cabinet. Now here's why it's a flex. This would be considered your kitchen slash living room. Here's the kitchen, modern. It comes with the refrigerator, nice stove. Everything is brand new, but then this would be the space for your living room here so only in here would be your living room but depending on your family size here's the hallway intercom system hvac system personal thermostat your power you know your power box for your utilities your electric electric box whatever you want to call it now, here are the two bedrooms. Here's bedroom number one. Kind of small, great for a child. Here's bedroom number two. Or this could be your living room. It does have a closet. And this is why I'm calling it a flex because you could have it, it can be a one bedroom with the living room, kitchen, bathroom or two bedroom kitchen bathroom now we're going to go upstairs where i have a attic apartment which is similar to this so let's see here's the attic it has the slanted ceilings i don't know if you can tell but as you can see we're up kind of high here's where the ceiling slant a little but let's check out the apartment. Kitchen, stove, refrigerator, new cabinets. That's going to be prepared. <laughs> the front door. This would be one bedroom. Here's the closet, bathroom, again, it's modern, nice shower, vanity, cabinets. Here's another room. This can be a bedroom or a sitting room. Let's see if it has a closet. Oh, it has a closet. Wow, yeah, nice deep closet. Ooh, ooh, gets a little short. Ooh, little step. And then here's another room. And then here's the back exit. Ow, I hit my head. Shit. <laughs> here's the 
back exit. So it's, oh, I'm bumping into the walls. Okay, it's a little short right here. But it's a cute little apartment, a nice starter apartment. Great for someone who's 5'1 or shorter. Here's the backyard. It will be cleaned out and the tenants will be allowed to have barbecues and they all will have to share the backyard. The apartment I just showed you is a renovated apartment. Um, the three bedrooms are 2100. Someone will take my pictures that I post for 2100 and post them online for $1,000 or something like that. A three bedroom renovated apartment for $1,000. It's a scam. Um, when it comes to renting apartments, there are always scammers around. Um, and I wanted to tell you a few, or give you a few tips of what you can look out for or what things to avoid when it comes to scammers. Number one, don't be desperate. And I know that's a lot easier said than done. I know that sometimes people end up in situations where their landlord sells the house don't inform them that the house was sold which by the way your landlord don't have to tell you they're selling the house um but they should let you know some landlords won't tell you they're selling because they don't want to stop their rent they don't want you to move out before the house sells because their rent income stops so in order for them to continue to have their rental income come in they will not tell you that the house is being sold and let the new landlord either keep you or the new landlord would have to um, ask you to leave. Um, so I understand that people get into situations that are out of their control and you may be desperate for an apartment. But my thing is don't let your desperation show. Don't let whomever you're speaking to about an apartment know how desperate you are for that apartment. Scammers will use your desperation to their advantage and they will tell you what you want to hear or tell you whatever just to get money out of you even if it's just an application fee if they're getting fifty dollars from you and fifty dollars from ten other people they could be making five hundred dollars a day just in application fees number two if it looks too good to be true it typically is if you've been looking for an apartment and you notice that all the apartments within your budget are within the same neighborhood or they all have pretty much the same features, then that's pretty much what you can afford. But then if all of a sudden you see this random apartment that pops up that looks way more expensive than it is, um, it looks way more expensive than the list price and there's some type of blurb in the description where the landlord is saying, I'm relocating to another country and I want someone to take over my apartment i'll leave the keys in the mailbox or something like that that is typically a scam because in today's market there's no reason for anyone to price their apartment way below market price just to get it rented there are tenants there are tenants that are willing to pay above market to live in certain neighborhoods or to live in a certain um or to live in an apartment with a certain aesthetic so if you see something that's really, really nice and it's priced really low, typically it's a scam and you should stay away from it. Next, I would say don't pay anything without seeing the apartment first. This scam has been around for the longest time where someone will tell you, pay us $150 and we'll send you a list of available apartments. And today's day and age with the internet, um, social media there's no need for you to pay anyone money to get a list of apartments when you could create your own list you shouldn't prepay for application fee you for sure should never prepay for security deposit or first month's rent no one is going to rent you an apartment that they're not sure if you even like it or not definitely do not prepay for anything finally I would like to say if um, to avoid being scammed never pay cash for anything if someone is insisting that you pay cash ask why they like ask why you're insisting on me paying cash when I can pay with a certified bank check or a mo or a money order. Um, always use certified funds real estate agents property managers landlords sometimes landlords mom and pop they will accept cash but for most professionals we do not accept cash we would prefer um certified funds with certified funds you automatically get a receipt 
and so you don't have to worry about someone writing you out a receipt you automatically have your stub on a money order or you have your stub from a certified bank check um, hopefully this information suffices and it gives you at least enough information to be able to spot when people are trying to scam you if you have any questions comments or concern please let me know i'm always available to help thank you and stay tuned